Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we are playing another round of You Don't Know Jack. This is volume two. Uh, this is uh, I have like six volumes of this game, so we're gonna we're gonna play volume two this one. And we're gonna play volume three on the next one, volume four on the last one. Let's get it going. Sixty seconds. Hey, but I heard they fired you. They didn't fire me. I mean, we had. I love the bickering and the banter. Nate, I got a show to do. Say hi to the family. I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh oh, now my little cousin doesn't have time to talk with me. Say, has anyone seen my lunch? Hello, how you doing? Nice to have you here. How many people are playing the game today? Okay. Hey. We're gonna do one, as always. Okay, you're a single player, is that right? Okay, why don't you type in your name for me? Ray! Okay, everybody, everybody, okay, I don't want you to get <laughs> This game's oh, yeah. so wacky. Are you here for a seven-question tournament length game? You want it, you get it. 30 seconds. I know that okay, your buzzer is the letter B, as in Barnaby Jones. And you know something? I don't Barnaby. think I watched that show once in my whole life. I don't think you could write your name in the Steam. Look at that. Yeah, answer the pants. I'm making it happen. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> I love this. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right. Uh, when, you, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz in, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices, or you're gonna lose cash. All right? Which means if I don't know the answer, I should stop buzzing in. That was my problem with the first one. Let's lose the desktop. And the black. Okay, you're up, Buzz. Stand by. Here you go. Have a good one. Have a good one. That's the video hasn't ended yet. Here we go. Here we go. There, I got you. Hey, I'm here alone too. So let's get it on. Okay, pick See dick get wet. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. Okay, coming up, this category is the physics of complete jerks. And this one's gonna be worth one thousand one dollar bill. Okay, we all know they're a bunch of dim bulbs, but let's assume white supremacists have the physical properties of light. If Jeez. you took a bunch of white supremacists and rammed them through a prism, what would they become? The Red Brigade... Take it! Prisms break white light into the full spectrum of the rainbow. That was easy. This, of course, would turn them into their own worst nightmare. <laughs> This one's gonna be having fun the medieval way. Two thousand bucks for right answer. Ball in a cup. Okay, I guys, know. focus on this picture. Look closely now and tell me which title best describes these armed gentlemen. War of the Ring Around the Rosies, The Song of Roulette, Knights of the Merry-Go-Round. It's all yours. They look like Knights of the Round Table, and they're on a merry-go-round. Nice. Holy roller coaster, nice. <laughs> First questions are always easy. Uh, do that one. And this question's category is why that's a trip of a different color. Get this right, get two thousand dollars. Imagine right. that after spending a few dull weeks back in Kansas with Auntie M and Uncle Henry, Dorothy decides to hitch a ride on a twister back to the land of Oz. Based on its average number of tornadoes per year, in which state would Dorothy have the best chance of catching a ride? Texas. Go for it. I think it's Kansas. Kansas really blows, but it doesn't have the highest average. No, really. To Oklahoma. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. <laughs> With an Texas. Over hmm. 100 twisters per year, Dorothy's best bet is to go to Texas. It'll be nice for her to see more of the U.S., and she has a great excuse for hanging around in trailer parks. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't have said Kansas because she's originally from Kansas. I am so bad. I have a good friend who's Mongolian. Right, next up, maybe this, maybe he can help Mongol me. Mountain. 
This one's gonna be $3,000. Get your fingers ready, here's one coming at ya. If the Waltons had originally been cast with Kubla Khan playing John Boy, what role should Genghis Khan have played? Oh Brother no. Jim Bob Walton, Father John I've never Walton, watched the Waltons. Grandpa Zeb Walton, or Grandma Esther Walton? It's all but I know... Good night, wrong boy. Oh. Here's what you should have picked. Genghis Khan was Kublai Khan's grandfather. Oh, I thought it was his dad. All his grandfather and grandson things Zeb and John Boy did, you know, visiting the zoo, going fishing, playing catch with the head of a Turk in the yard. <laughs> nice. Come on, we need a category. Uh, Jersey. Number five. And this category is if New Jersey is America's armpit, get it right, get two thousand bucks. Get ready to fill in that blank. You've probably been told once or twice to stick it where the sun don't shine. But if someone told you to stick it in the Sunshine State, to where should you travel? Oh, Sunshine State. Is that California? Screw it. I'll try it. Go for it. No, I think California is the sunshine if you can see it through the smog state. Nice. Now the correct answer is... Florida. Florida. Ah. The Sunshine State. Maybe you can I feel bad for getting that wrong. Assy. How about it? We need a category. <laughs> no more hoes. Category. Pugilistic soap scum. Okay, the right answer nets you 1,000 bucks. War is a dirty business. Blood, guts, and gore everywhere. Never a mop around when you need to clean up. Because his name is also that of a popular household cleaner, which hero from Greek mythology might be stuck cleaning up the mess after the Trojan War? Take it! Ajax, hero and cleanser. Alright, that one I got. <laughs> and if you can't find a mop, he could always use a broom on his helmet. <laughs> Okay, pick a category. This category My current is record's a 10,000, so we have to try to get better hours. than that. And 1,000 bucks is riding on this question. Okay, take a shot at this. At an S&M party with a U.S. military theme, which of the following party goers would wield the most power? The majority whip, the undersecretary of the interior, the secretary of labor, or the chief of staff? Go for it! The majority whip? No, not much military power, but they make for one obedient senate party. Oh, that's right. Military theme. Chief of Staff. Any one of the Joint Chiefs of Staff would hold the most military power over the rest of these folks. I saw a whip uh, and was like, yeah. Stick, don't ask, don't yell policy. Pick your pick, what do you say? An with. outstanding selection, because under that category is one major league point racking question, the dis or dat. I never did this before. Category for this dis or dat question is Dr. Seuss and spelling for idiots. Listen carefully. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a type of cat or a type of hat. Okay. As each one comes up, if it's a cat, hit one. If it's a hat, press two. And to skip it, press four. It's five large for each right answer, and 500 off for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. And let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Let's do it. Fedora, cat or hat? Lynch. That one's easy. Easy. Ocelot. Stetson. Cam. Hooray. Oh, that was easy. I like that. Let's do more of those. Hold me down, Popeye. Let's see your score now. Just another day at the office. All right, let's move on. I'm catching up to myself. All right, go ahead and pick one. It's party time. Here comes number nine. The category is warm and fuzzy talk show hosts. This might be a hard one. Three grand. 
Hang on tight, cause yeah, here we this go. might be a hard one. <laughs> if talk show host Morton Downey Jr. had never shed the downy hair with which all humans are covered as newborns, what might be the best new name for it? Morton Prosciutto Jr., Ooh, Morton Lamigo um, Jr., Morton Peruno Jr., or Morton Menudo Jr.? It's all you No, although both prosciutto and Morton are hams. Uh, well, some may argue Morton's a Oh, pig, that's right. That is a folks. ham, isn't it? <laughs> Son of a... Now the correct answer is... Laguna. Lanugo. Lanugo is the name of the downy hair with which we're all covered from our six month of development through our first few months of infancy. I hey, never knew that. Morton keeps his Lanugo soft and static free with new downy... I have never knew that before. How about it? We need a category. Uh... Why not? And we call this one Flicka Your Bicka. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If Flicka from the movie My Friend Flicka were to star in a sequel called My Friend Wicka, what might the movie be about? Take it! Flicka's a horse, and Wicca is a neo-pagan religion. That one I knew. And I'm not going to make any jokes here, because I don't want to be turned into a newt. Halfway there, ten more questions coming at ya in round two. Now remember, round two means double the value of the questions, which means more cash won or more cash lost. Let's go. I will say that I'm not in the hole as deep as when I was on, hitting question ahead. 11 last time. Mm. Category, let's do it. Animal, mineral, or disembodied head. Pop a right answer, you got 4K. Okay, oh boy. imagine this. An India-based toy maker wants to compete for Mr. Potato Head's market share. If its new toy is based on the Hindu god Ooh, Ganesh, Ganesh, um, what should they call it? Mr. Deadhead, Mr. I got it. Head, Mr. Elephant. Ganesh has the head of an elephant. Cha-ching. Also now I'm in the positives. Arms and a puffy red human That's from playing uh, uh, Shin Megami Tensei too much. Okay, pick a category. Twelve. The category. What are you looking at? And this one's worth two thousand dollars. All right, fingers limber, cuz here comes the question. On your next vacation, you set off through the Marsh of Diseases, then hit the Bay of Dew, and finally head for the Sea of Fertility. Where are you traveling? In the state of Ohio, across the lunar surface, through the outback of Australia, or in a fantasy land invented by J.R. It's all yours! They're all points of interest on the moon. I actually knew that. <laughs> next vacation, head to Fort Lauderdale during spring break. Oh. <laughs> What do you say? The the At least I'm doing okay now. That could turn around really quickly. Bucks behind this one. Hey, uh, could you help me out here? What's that one actor's name? Type in the full name when you know. You gotta know this. He starred in that one movie about the nerds. And later he starred with that guy from Risky Business. Uh, it was in that movie about the fighter planes. And I know I've seen him as a doctor on TV. Who is that guy? Neil Patrick Harris? Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that one go. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Anthony Edwards. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. Of the nerds, Top Gun and ER. From nerd to hunk, and all he needed was a slip of paper. You also have to remember that these games come from the 90s. Uh, I think late 90s. So, uh... <laughs> this is old stuff for me. <laughs> I think it was from the late 90s. Either late 90s or early 2000s. And this question's category is... Family Programming and Big Gun. And this one's worth four thousand dollars. Hey, remember that Brady episode where Bobby thinks Jesse James is really cool until he has a dream where Jesse shoots his whole family? <sighs> family programming. 
Anyway, suppose the Brady Bunch dream sequence with Jesse James were real. To be historically accurate, how might one of the Bradys end James's outlaw ways? Jesse chokes on Alice's cooking. A lovesick Jesse falls while chasing Jan. Bobby shoots Jesse for the reward money, or Sam stabs Jesse from behind with a cleaver. Uh. Take it. Goodbye. No. Nope. Too bad you didn't choose this. In that episode, Bobby played a member of James's gang in a dream, and in life, Jesse was eventually shot by one of his men for the reward money. Like they say, when it's time to change, oh, it's I get it. Damn it! <laughs> How about it? We need a category. Uh, here we go. And this category is Eternal Damnation at fifty percent off. This one's worth six grand. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. If hell and Dante's Inferno were converted into Dante's Outlet Mall, what might you expect to find on sale down on level one? Gerber, unbaptized baby food. Benedict Arnold. It's in Dante's Inferno. Unbaptized souls stay in the first level called Limbo. Limbo. <laughs> I knew that one. Along with those that can't get under the stick. Oops, he touched the floor. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Come on, we need a category. Uh-oh, chess butt sits grime floor. It's time for... Lager chest don't Category for this gibberish question. How to fix a little accident. And we're going to start off with 10 Oh boy, this is going to be tough. You got 30 seconds for this, and I'm taking away the prize money a little at a time, so buzz in as soon as you know it. Okay, now tell me, with what children's book title does this rhyme? A piddle, send in flat wood. And remember, I have no idea. Punctuation fool you. A little... First hint, it's about a small choo-choo. Okay, let's see, type in your answer and hit return. Yeah, uh, the... Oh, I see, there I knew you could do see I did that one. I saw Choo Choo and I was like, yes! It's gotta be that one. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Abe Lincoln. We can do this one. This one's gonna be... Besides that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Looks like a toughie. Six grand. Check this out. Suppose on that fateful night at Ford's Theater, John Wilkes Booth had robbed Abraham Lincoln instead of assassinating him. Which of the following items would not be a part of his presidential loot? A lint-covered stick of chip. Go for All this stuff was actually in Abe's pockets that night, except... <laughs> Alright. Maybe if he'd had some gum, he wouldn't have bent over to stick it to the bottom of his chair just when Booth fired. Nice thought. Yeah, he did have a Confederate five dollar bill. That was weird. All right, go ahead and pick one. You're killing me. Okay, coming up this category is You're killing me. Two G's for a right answer. Okay, let's do a little math. 1970s sitcom character plus notorious serial killer equals Stanford hmm. and Son of Sam, Lyle Menendez Arnaz, Alan Ted Bundy, or Captain Kirk Cameron. It's all yours. Sorry, Al Bundy lives in the 80s and 90s. And Ted oh, that's Bundy, right. Well, he lives. Well, he doesn't live anywhere anymore. Let me Al Bundy is 80s. To show you what's I right. love Married with Children. Fred Sanford of Sanford and Son meets the Son of Sam, aka David Berkowitz. Hey, sounds like your typical fun-loving dysfunctional family. I do love Married with Children, though. How about it? We need a category. Category. Almost done here. Galaxy for good grammar. Gotta stay positive. Money-wise. Okay, peel your eyes, free your mind, cause here we go. Which of the following is an example of a split infinitive? To boldly go where no man has gone before. To err is human. To forgive Vulcan. I've got to have more time, Captain, or Kirk to bridge. I should know this. I should know this. Take it. Better go find a Vulcan then, you silly human. Damn it. Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. 
boldly splits the infinitive to uh. go right down the middle. And I can assure you, man has gone there before many, many I feel times. infinite regret for getting that wrong, because I'm supposed to be an English major. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I just, I don't use, I don't know the definitions of words anymore, I just know how they go. Films it's been fashion. 10 years since I've been in college. Worth $4,001 bills. All right, here we go. What classic movie features a freedom fighter's wife begging for it, the Nazis killing for it, and Rick hiding it in a piano as time goes by? Raiders of Lost Ark, The Muppets Take Manhattan, From Here to Eternity, or Casablanca. Go for it! It is a letter of safe transit out of Casablanca. Yeah, that one I knew. Yeah, I don't remember. Do Bogey and Ingrid Bergman do it in that movie? Okay, pick a category. Here we go. The Jack Attack. Jack attack time. When you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. If you're right, I give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, I take it away. And remember, not all matches are equal. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What did, what did I, I do, do wrong? wrong? <laughs> God, you might be saying that to yourself in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be. That one I knew. Sweeney Todd. I think I missed it. Sold human flesh. Kane. Yep. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. I think he killed a voted Republican. <laughs> Kill the Albatross. Prometheus stole fire. I remember that. No, not sold. Human fresh. Long poem. Right turn on red. Titan. Litterbug. Stole fire. Hey, I'm doing all right. That I knew. Lancelot. Guinevere. Not very polite. So I think I gotta hit. Yeah. That's it. My God, you were an animal on that one. Let's see where you ended up. That's the game. Nah, <laughs> thirty thousand. Oh boy. That is a lot better than the first one. Humanly possible. You decide whether you want to be proud or ashamed of that. Okay, great show. Uh, thanks, Buzz. Let's roll commercials and uh, find out what's happening, Cookie, with the players. Wow, someone special made it to the high score. Yeah, I've never played this before. <laughs> impressed that you got on even when it was completely empty. Anyway, when you want to play again, give me a holler. You like that, don't you? All right, so that is volume two, and I think I did pretty damn good. What is being playing on my video in the background? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is volume two. Uh, I think we can only go down at this point. Uh, so volume three is going to come up on the next one, and uh, we'll do volume four after that, and then we're back to Treasure of the Rudras, uh, like promised. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing these. Uh, they're very um, unique. <laughs> very unique. Uh, but uh, yeah, on the next one we'll, uh, we'll hit volume 3 and have 21 new questions, maybe some new categories and tricks, and I'm going to suffer. Through I'm going to suffer pretty hard. Anyway, hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.